Hey everybody, it's Michelle at To The Rescue Bookkeeping. Just wanted to come to you today and tell you how to merge a customer or a vendor that might be entered into your books twice. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna share my screen with you here. And it is going to be this one. Share. So now you'll see we have our QuickBooks open here. This is our sample file. So if you're gonna merge a vendor that you have maybe two of them in your system, one may be misspelled, um, one may have an abbreviation in it that you spelled out the next time. So you want to merge those. It's going to make uh, 1099 reporting a lot more accurate, a lot uh, easier at the end of the year. So here we have um, two vendors. We're going to go to our expenses, to our vendors, and then we're going to scroll down. You're going to see there's two S equipment rentals here. One is just misspelled. So to take care of that, we're going to click on the one that we know is correct. We're going to edit. I'm going to just copy the name here. Cancel our thing. Come to the one that is misspelled. Also edit. Paste the correct name. Make sure we change the display name. So now these are both the correct spelled name. Save. After it thinks about it a minute, it's gonna tell you this name is already being used. Are you sure you wanna merge these? Now, you wanna be really sure that this is what you wanna do because once you merge the two, you cannot unmerge them. So every transaction that is on the correctly spelled name and the incorrectly spelled name is go are going to now come together under one name. So yes, we are sure that we would like to merge these. Then once you do this, you'll see, go back to your vendors, but now you just have the one Ellis Equipment Rental. So if Ellis Equipment and Rental is an LLC, and you had $300 to the misspelled Ellis Equipment Rental and $400 to the correctly spelled Ellis Equipment Rental, then at the end of the year, you would have missed the 1099 and it would not have been sent. So now that we have all of those transactions under the correctly spelled Ellis Equipment Rental, uh, it would be a $700 total and therefore we would be sending a 1099 at the end of the year. So merging a customer is the exact same process. Uh, and so that's all you have to do is copy and paste there and merge the customers. So be very sure that that is what you'd like to do before doing it. If you have any questions or you'd like any more information, you can always reach us at to the rescue bookkeeping.com. Um, we also have monthly bookkeeping and cleanup for you if you'd like. So give us a shout out and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.